Our enemies won't even see it coming. They won't know what hit them. No aircraft produced by any other nation will ever, ever match the level of the one we've built. We are gaining a power and maneuverability the world has never seen before. Congratulations to us on our sixth generation aircraft. In fact, we've secretly been flying a prototype of this aircraft for the past five years. These bold words spoken by President Trump echoed through the Oval Office and reverberated around the world just a few days ago. Naturally, they sparked global curiosity about America's mysterious new aircraft, the F-47, and the new era it might usher in. If what President Trump claims is true, and no other nation can even come close to matching it, then we could be standing at the threshold of a drastically reshaped global power balance over the next 20 years and beyond. Right now, the world is still largely focused on fifth-generation fighter jets. Turkey has directed its efforts toward the National Combat Aircraft Project, KAAN, developed entirely with domestic resources. The U.S. has deployed the F-22 Raptor and the F-35, though the F-35 has been plagued by ongoing issues. Russia introduced the Su-57 to its skies, but complications, including the Ukraine conflict, have hindered its progress. China's J-20 has entered the arena, yet hasn't fully lived up to expectations, especially concerning engine performance. The fifth-generation fighter market remains chaotic and unstable. It's within this context that the U.S. made a striking announcement. A highly critical tender had been finalized. Out of two fierce competitors vying for the Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD project, Boeing emerged victorious, winning the right to build this multi-billion dollar new fighter jet. At the announcement event in the Oval Office, President Trump claimed that the aircraft was unlike anything ever seen before. He emphasized its engine power and maneuverability, suggesting that no other country could match it for a long time. According to him, America's enemies wouldn't see it, or even understand what hit them. This wasn't just a military statement, it was a declaration. The United States is entering a new chapter in aviation history, one that places it far ahead of its global rivals. Now, Boeing may have won the contract, but to fully appreciate how we got here, we need to rewind and examine how the U.S. has historically laid the groundwork for its next-generation fighter jets. In aviation, the letter X often stands for experimental. In mathematics, X represents the unknown. When you see an X in an aircraft's name, it typically indicates secrecy and testing. Whenever the U.S. sets out to acquire a new fighter jet, the process begins with meticulous planning. Requirements are defined, risks are analyzed, and manufacturers are asked to create prototypes for evaluation. Only the top companies usually make it to the final round, and the government helps fund the prototype phase. This stage, often referred to as the War of the X-Planes, is intense and fiercely competitive. Winning this war means hitting the jackpot. Building a fighter jet for the United States translates to hundreds of billions in revenue and possibly decades of future contracts, including international exports. After prototypes are completed, they enter rigorous and classified flight testing. Of course, leaks do happen. Occasional sightings near places like Area 51 have made their way to social media and eventually into news reports. For this sixth generation fighter, the finalists were Lockheed Martin and Boeing. Boeing ultimately claimed victory, but this wasn't the first time the U.S. faced such a high-stakes decision. Back in the 1990s, there was another major contest, this time for a fifth-generation fighter. The competitors were the YF-22, developed by Lockheed Martin with Boeing and General Electric, and the YF-23, built by Northrop in partnership with McDonnell Douglas. While the YF-23 had better stealth and speed, the YF-22 offered superior maneuverability. The U.S. military chose maneuverability, and the YF-22, later developed into the F-22 Raptor, won. The stakes were so high that losing meant potential collapse. Northrop ended up merging with Grumman, and McDonnell Douglas was absorbed by Boeing, losing its brand identity in the process. This past full of ambition and consequences foreshadows the importance of today's NGAD project. The Next Generation Air Dominance Program aims to revolutionize propulsion technology. The centerpiece is the adaptive cycle jet engine. Unlike traditional engines, adaptive cycle systems can shift modes for high efficiency or high performance as needed. In air combat, speed is crucial, but it often comes at the cost of fuel efficiency. 
This new engine technology promises both explosive power when needed and fuel economy when cruising. The F-47 is expected to hit speeds more than twice the speed of sound, something current fifth-generation jets struggle with. But power isn't the only upgrade. Sixth-generation jets will also feature highly advanced radar systems, cutting-edge sensors, and AI-driven automation. Artificial intelligence will play a much bigger role than ever before, helping pilots process data, make decisions, and manage combat scenarios faster and more effectively. One groundbreaking shift is how these jets will work alongside unmanned aerial systems. Picture a manned sixth-generation jet at the center of a swarm of drones, each feeding live data to the pilot, who can then command missile launches, designate targets, or order kamikaze attacks from unmanned allies. The vision is clear. Coordination, adaptability, and survival, not just for the aircraft, but for the pilot at its controls. Interestingly, Turkey is working on a similar approach, integrating its manned con fighter with unmanned platforms like Kazalelma, Akuncha, and Anka-3. This signals a global trend toward combining manned and unmanned systems in modern aerial warfare. Returning to the F-47, the Oval Office meeting didn't just announce Boeing's win, it also revealed something astonishing. The prototypes had already been flying for five years, how could that have been kept under wraps in a world blanketed by satellite surveillance? According to later leaks, one prototype flew for the first time in 2019, the other in 2022. Given that the contracts were signed back in 2014, the U.S. has made significant progress under the radar. Around the end of 2024, reports surfaced from China about an unidentified aircraft spotted during a brief test flight. While no official details were released, many believed it to be China's own sixth-generation prototype. America's revelation, we've been flying ours for five years, was interpreted as a direct message to China. We got there first. But Boeing's journey to this moment was far from easy. The company had been facing severe difficulties in its commercial aviation sector. Safety scandals, plummeting stock prices, and employee protests painted a grim picture. Lawsuits and financial losses piled up. Against this backdrop, Boeing took an enormous gamble. It pursued a white sheet design, building a completely new aircraft from scratch. The last fighter Boeing had produced was the F-15X, itself based on the legacy F-15 designed by McDonnell Douglas. During the Oval Office presentation, a blurred image was shown, supposedly of the F-47. Though details were unclear, observers noted some key features. One was the presence of canards, small forward wings that boost agility but increase radar visibility. Their inclusion suggests that Boeing prioritized maneuverability. Meanwhile, the wide nose likely houses a powerful, advanced radar system. While none of this is confirmed, these observations help paint a rough picture of what the F-47 might be. For Boeing, this project is a matter of survival. The company has reportedly spent nearly $8 billion on F-47 development, and it's constructing a massive new production facility, over 100,000 square meters in size, at an additional cost of $2 billion. Meanwhile, other Boeing projects like the KC-46 tanker, T-7 trainer, and the new Air Force One have encountered delays and technical problems. The fixed price contracts on these programs have already cost the company more than $10 billion. In this context, the F-47 isn't just another fighter jet, it's Boeing's lifeline. Interestingly, the cost per unit of the F-47 remains a closely guarded secret. After missteps with the F-22 and F-35 programs, where costs ballooned to over $350 million per aircraft and production goals had to be slashed, the U.S. is treading more carefully. While no official numbers have been released, some American media speculate that each Abrai 47 may cost around $300 million. Time will tell. One major expectation for the F-47 is a higher combat readiness rate than its predecessors. The F-35, for instance, requires constant touch-ups on its radar-absorbing material after each flight. This leads to excessive maintenance, downtime, and logistical complexity, something the F-47 is expected to improve dramatically. And that's where we stand today. The F-47 is more than just a new aircraft. It's a symbol of technological ambition, 
geopolitical dominance, and industrial resilience. Whether it truly lives up to the hype remains to be seen. But one thing is certain, the future of aerial warfare is already flying above us. We just might not see it yet.